right. So, uh, I, guess, I guess I'll call it the order one last okay. time. <laughs> Uh, at 635. Uh, <laughs> we've got Maddie and Jerry online and we do in fact have a guest, Manny. Welcome, Manny. Did you have any anything to say? Any comments? Are you just here to hang out? That'd be great to the uh, folks who don't know you. Summer. With the O instead of the U. Maybe. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Okay, cool. Uh, just to introduce myself real quick. Uh, my name is Manny. Uh, I work for Ant Farm. Uh, and we're a youth services organization, and we really want to help. Uh, support the work that you guys have been doing uh, here in Essicate already. Uh, my position is cultural arts specialist. Uh, I handle all the arts events, so art, music, anything, performance like that for Ant Farm. And I'm really excited to work with you guys um, for any future events. So thanks for having me. Thank you. Thanks, Manny. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to continue to work with you because it's awesome having somebody to work with. Uh, okay, Jerry, do you have a liaison report to give us? Um, I really don't have anything to report. Um, we had our goal setting meeting on Sunday, the city council did, and uh, um, it was a really good really good meeting um the the facilitator was amazing she kept she kept our city council in line it was pretty good <laughs> uh, if you've ever watched our city council meetings you know that could be <laughs> that could be pretty rough but uh, she did a good job and um i just want to apologize for not being there in person um any fellow introverts will understand when i say i kind of peopled out today and i i am really sorry that i'm not there in person i just uh um yeah, I just, uh, I'm, I'm introverting right now. So, um, but yeah, no, I don't really have anything to report just that we had a really good goal setting session. Um, we've got some really, really good goals set up um, for the year. Um, I think that our, a lot of those goals are more achievable than goals that we've set in the past. So um, that will be our goals. Our council goals will probably come out if they're not already on the city website, they'll come out pretty soon. Um, but yeah, keep up the good work, everybody. Awesome. Thank Thanks, Jerry. Uh, has everyone, well, has anyone had a chance to look at the January minutes yet? I do see one um, correction. Down towards the bottom, it says Chelsea has reached out to the new owners of Ant Farm. So what it should say is Chelsea reached out to the new owners of Harmony, comma, <laughs> Ant Farm. <laughs> or just reached out to oh, Ant Farm. Yeah. Or yeah, or that reached out to Ant Farm. Ant Farm or did Ant Farm did not change ownership. Oh, they bought Harmony. Thank you. That's a, <laughs> yes, that, that's that's very. So how did so? Can I ask in real time how the corrections? I don't know. I forgot to do them last time. I assumed okay. that I would fix the document and then send it to Sadie. We're just jeopardizing the record keeping. I know integrity I know. of the city. So the way making these corrections. Just my, I did do just a quick. Um, typo and spelling run through on some names. Yeah. The last. Yeah, the last one had corrections that right. we didn't. Right. Sometimes I notice too that after dark, I kind of like don't have what it takes. For December, you hit a wall. Yes. When the when the sun goes down, it's like I mean, it's he my it's my children. To charge it's one of those. <laughs> <laughs> so because because you're sending them to us and then we're making minor changes that would put it on us to make the corrections because we now have a unless you're changing the google well so you know. that's the other thing with my current inability to operate this correctly is that i'm taking last month's template and just putting in the new information so as soon as i start oh, the process so then this one is essentially compromised, but you probably have <laughs> Google Doc. 
Yeah. Someplace, not you yes. specifically. Right. So, so my gives a, so you save the doc as January. No. And then you change it and then save it as February or whatever. Right. So then you no, have because I think it still says November. Really? <laughs> the file name. Oh, right. Right. So like yeah, he needs to save, save it every month. Right. right. Save um, it every month is the correct month. We'll work on it. Um, <laughs> I'm like, I like I Whatever gets I, the job I might need like, just I might just need like a half hour after <laughs> yeah, it's really easy to just take the document and make a copy and then just relabel it so you always have the previous month. It's probably good to have right. the record keeping. And then you just add a new one. You don't have to retype it, you just make an exact copy and then you can go in and edit it. Perfect. That's what I mean. So that way you yeah, it's less room for error. I'm genuinely nervous right now. No worries. <laughs> but I can I, teach you how to not operate an expert. <laughs> and so in the case of this one though since we have the copy that was updated since deborah has a copy that did you make any changes to it, when I, you did it yes through? very okay. very minimal like and i just i noticed on the other one there's an e on the end of sadie main and that's main oh, without yeah. an e um oh so we can just edit that and send it to Sadie. And mm -hmm. by this time next month, I'll have a revised approach for how this works. I'm confident. All right. So uh, Maddie, do you have a copy of the minutes from online? I do. I have them from my email. Thank you. Great. Um, okay, so let's take a minute. Everyone look over the minutes. And then if somebody would like to move to approve them, that would be great. Somebody who was at the last meeting can move to approve them. If I wrote them, can I move to approve them? I don't, I, I don't know why you couldn't. I move to approve. Excellent, do we have a second? A second. Tina has seconded. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Awesome. Okay. Uh, we have a financial statement. Mm -hmm. we have, who's our joint treasurer? That's me. Should we talk about it? Yeah. Okay. Um, so the only changes for the financial statement, I think, are the check for uh, Aaron Wallace for open mic night, $120, um, reimbursing me for commissioner gift for Carl Hagen, who retired. Um, that puts our expenses for this time period fiscal year at uh, $7,906.98. We have a current positive balance of $1,136.36. And I don't know if it matters because there's also the $70 that I got reimbursed for the okay. prizes for the coloring contest, but it's on here. Yep. Um, and we, had, we didn't spend and eight grand last year. This is actually from... Multiple June years. of 2020. Oh, so that's a long cycle. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and there was also the a donation that went through this month from Art and Music Hall. Nice. That was $54. Oh, I totally thought that was a check request. <laughs> I gave that to you as a check request. <laughs> yeah. It was probably just like for my information and then I just signed it and handed it to Karen. I mean, there wasn't any money in it. And she'd already turned it in. So I paid closer attention. That's great. Uh, Tina, what was your um, financial amount? $70. You owe? No, they, they no, reimbursed, we, we reimbursed from the, in January. Because that's when I finally got around to asking Chelsea to sign the papers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tina, I wanted to ask you, do you have a record of who prizes were given to? 
hopefully. I just deleted a bunch of emails that were in my draft, so I'll look. If you do, can you get that to Sadie to just put with the records? Okay, I think I emailed you guys, but let me check. Okay. Uh, the only the only thing in the box was actually the the uh, receipt from Heidi in the email. We did have an email. Woohoo! Actually, two. Um, one is when we could follow up on um, Ellen Walsh, Ellen White, Ellen White Trio was uh, sent us a nice message earlier in the fall saying I'm available for performances. Um, she's pretty well known in the area. Um, just like, hey. Is she the one that said best cater? She the, she's the blues lady? No, I don't think she's done anything with our group recently. Okay, because it's, did you also, or do you remember the, I'm sorry to interrupt, the email okay. um, that had a link to her whole bio and she was playing at the Cabo Vero with a blues woman who's I probably nope. forwarded that from the Gmail. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I was someone just... different, but just someone to keep in mind for future events. And there was also someone requesting event space that I did not respond to yet to tell her that we are are not in a position to offer event space at the moment. I forwarded you and the general art commission email address, the email I sent. Yeah. I think I sent it to Heidi back in November so she could okay. post it on the Facebook page, or have it posted on the Facebook page. Awesome. Would you like us to get you information for someone who wants event space? Somebody was asking us for event space and we don't. And what um, kind of event? Was for an improv. I can get the more specific. I didn't print out the email. I will get that info to you and for you to put in the minutes more detailed info on okay. that. Okay. Who's telling me about the person? Were you telling me about the impact person? Yes. No, was he wasn't he was telling me about the impact person that I heard about. Well, it might be the same person. Right. Interesting. Okay. Uh Any other mail or correspondence? Not that I know of. And next month I will print stuff out and have Great. more details for you. Uh, Mike, do you wanna give us an update on the recent event? Sure. Um, thank you fellow commissioners for attending and making up the, a body of the uh, participants that were there. Um, Aaron, uh, is a very old and dear friend of mine. And she um, really had a great time um, playing and thought that Estacated was adorable and cute and couldn't believe that everybody like knows each other. And it's just like that. Um, also, sidebar, I have never seen her um, lose her composure entirely throughout playing a song, which was kind of awesome because I'm like you're always so good and I'm always the one that's kind of showing my ass for lack of a better explanation um so I think it went well and I've had a couple of people follow up on Facebook to say that they're looking forward to the next one um I am going to uh drop in and start checking out some of these other local open mics to see kind of the format and then also who's there and maybe how many participants they have and then maybe sort of rub elbows. Um, but I also think that it might be a good idea to just sort of pivot and try and have like a featured performer. And then also Manny and I were talking about um, having like a jam session too. So it's less intimidating than being like, Anyone want to step up to the microphone and do that whole kind of thing? It's just a little bit more welcoming, a little bit lower pressure. Um, so we got some ideas for sort of how we can evolve it and, and that kind of thing. And um, just to, as a reminder, what we have right now on the schedule is the next music event is June. 
It's June. Yeah, and it's right now penciled in as a songwriting workshop. So that could change, okay. of course. And and if um, if uh, it was like a jam with a jam night, jam session would be great, or or whatever. But right now, the the music ones are June, and then September and December are both listed as open nights. Okay. Are you acquainted with the Hope for Eastern Jam by the Mafia? Uh, no. No. Pre COVID, there was just this awesome group of older folks that would have like a weekly jam session yeah. in the space right behind Mossy Rock. Okay. Um, which is the insurance place now or something? Uh, it? It's, you know, it was like that expanded room behind it. I think the people right, that own right. Mossy Rock. I, I can just ask go the, the lady who owns Mossy Rock. I can ask her just, just out of curiosity because that was like a weekly thing and I know people came to that and they were. Just fun crew people. Well, and yeah, I mean the the availability and the opportunity to work with Ant Farm and have that space available. It's so centralized, and it's really for that's what. Well, I meant working. not for the space, the musicians. Right. I mean, but yeah. we but we now do have a space where we could host. I mean, mm -hmm. how many scheduled events do you have throughout the week in there? A handful. Not like a lot. So, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, they're going to use it throughout the day. Oh, cool. At night, as far as I know, we're pretty free. After school hours are finished. Okay. Do you have something going on there on Wednesday nights, though? <laughs> what? How often Why is that guitar class? Yeah. On Wednesday at <laughs> 6. Did she just come hang out with you? Did she just get revealed? <laughs> oh, that'll probably move over to the when it's better. <laughs> okay, I'm just like, why did I just pick my like <laughs> Okay, I, I was just curious. She doesn't tell me anything, so. <laughs> Hey guys, can he step up to the mic? Because it's really it's a one sided conversation for us. <laughs> Jerry, we well, want Jerry. you to know what's going on. <laughs> Just take the mic with you. Um, yeah, you actually can. Just take it. It's like it's it's pretty decent size. Can you hear me? Twenty five by yes. forty, probably. It's all right. Maybe Sorry about that, Jerry. Um, again. Uh, Manny and farm. Uh, yeah. So right now uh, we don't have uh, many events uh, scheduled for our Zobrist, Zobrist street building. Um, so I'd say like, uh, let's, let's schedule events there. Like let's, let's do it. Let's use it. Um, that's what I want to do. So, uh, and uh, that is definitely what Ant farm wants to do is to, have community events there. So, uh, yeah, anything that you guys want to dream of, like, let's talk. Thanks, man. Awesome. Uh, in just one week, I realized tomorrow, one week tomorrow is the next event, which is one, uh, which is formerly known as One Page and is now Estacada Creates Lit. Uh, which will be at Ant Farm. And I made up images, uh, but I didn't send them to anyone yet. I'll send them after this meeting and I'll send them to you. Um, and I will send them to Elena um, and also to you. Uh, can you ask Elena to get it on our website? I will, I will not be able to. Oh, yes. Yeah, I will. Um, I will do that. And I will also uh, send Sadie and Taryn the info so it can go on the reader board. Uh, and so the info is, it's Justin Hawking and Jay Ponteri. Uh, and just as a reminder, Justin, Oregon Book Award winner uh, with his memoir. He also does some poetry. He used to run the 
IPRC, which is the Independent Printing Resource Center in Portland. Uh, and he's a PSU professor in nonfiction. Uh, Jay Ponteri has a couple of books out, uh, fiction and nonfiction, I believe. And he is the director of the Low Res Creative Writing MFA at PNCA. Uh, and the former director of the BFA MF, of the writing program at Merrill, Merrill Hurst. Um, so that should be great. Um, they What's are his name again? Jay Ponteri. Oh, I don't know how long he was there. Or how long ago he was there. Right, right. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that's that that's what it is. It'll be seven to nine at Amp Farm. And hopefully we'll see a bunch of y'all there. Uh, it should be fun. Tina, yeah. do you have an update on the painting class? So I emailed her, but I haven't heard back. Um, I'm gonna give her until the end of the week and then try to email her again and then maybe start looking for backups just in case because I did look at that email stream and it was a while ago that she was communicating with Heidi like way back in September so okay. um so I'll give her a little bit of time and then start looking for backups okay. um cool. I'm sure Art Smith may have some suggestions so that's where I'm at right now awesome are you look are you looking for someone to lead the painting class sorry yes <laughs> yep because um, I do have limited experience with that if you need a backup person Oh, okay. That's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know what the primers, I'm guessing it's kind of like one of those wine and sip paint kind of things with maybe without the wine though, but like you're basically we, just leading a class, correct? We, well, there are no parameters yet because we were, were communicating with somebody that had an idea for what they wanted to do. And so, uh, you would have all the options you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> you can make your exciting. own parameters. <laughs> <laughs> right. Parameters are wide open. Right now, it literally is just painting class. That is the extent of the details that we have. It's pretty wide open. Yeah, that's pretty wide open. Yeah, I'm interested if you need the support, though. So you can keep that in your back awesome. pocket. All right, perfect. Thank you. Thanks, yeah. Maddie. Um, the next Estacada creates after the painting class uh, is going to be another open mic uh lit uh currently although i was just telling deborah i'm having a lot of trouble getting a couple of uh children's middle grade ya authors um to come out they are hard they are hard to get um i have a couple more to try and then we may start brainstorming another children and literary combo that's not like that. That's how that's going. Any questions from anyone on the recent or the review of current and upcoming events? What's the Estacada Lit? What did you say? It's well, it? so we call the series Estacada Creates. Okay, yeah. And so yeah, I saw that. Lit what? music or. Uh, oh, okay. Gotcha. And so uh, the lit. As in literature. Yes, literature. Not as in like. Lit. Lit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go out and I would say Vince is the hippest, hippest person here. So he might. How you said it? I was like, is this just hip hop thing or is this just going to be rap? <laughs> uh, yes. Literary. Uh, and the way they work is we have two featured readers and then we have 10 open mic slots. And so, uh, and I, we, I bring in, you know, writers who, uh, for the, for the grown up events, he's calling them adult events, makes them sound like something they are not. Uh, for the grown up readings, uh, I usually get a poet and a prose writer. Yeah. Uh, and then for the children's events or young adult events, I try to get uh, somebody who does middle grade and somebody who does YA if I can okay. come out. And so we did one every month last year, which was, um, 
with varying levels of success. So this year we decided to mix it up with art and music. So there is an SDK right. to create each, each month, but it cycles. Are we ready to welcome our new commissioners? Welcome new commissioners. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, we didn't do interviews this round. And so should we take a minute and let folks introduce themselves? Uh, Jesse, do you mind going first? Sure. Well, I got to interview with y'all a while ago, so I feel like you've met me, but um, my name is Jessie Kirk. I'm a kindergarten teacher and been here about five years, but I'm a Bend native. Um, really excited to be here. I don't know what else I should really say. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. I'm excited to be here. Vince. I'm Vincent Summer. Um, been, I've been living here for like five years since I've had my daughter just lived here with my wife Katrina and five-year-old little Hellion. So and I also uh, take commissions for custom artwork, sneakers and portraits. And um, yeah, just done kind of go back and forth between doing a custom sneaker or portrait or kind of like back and forth. So I've done some murals and stuff too. So kind of a little bit this and that cleats and kind of like various different sneakers, not just, not always the same thing. It's just trying to kind of broaden my horizons and do a little bit of whatever I can do. But yeah, I'm just always willing to learn. And but yeah, that's kind of a little, little bit about me. Welcome. Thanks. Maddie. Oh. Hello, sorry, I am Zooming in. I'm actually in Columbus, Ohio for work. So thank you for the Zoom option. Um, I am a creative design manager by trade, but I do graphic design and illustration. Um, a little bit of everything. I've done painting classes in the past. Um, I work with a nonprofit called Art Your Way, which focuses on empowering youth in the community to express themselves through art. Um, in Ohio. And then my husband and I moved to Estacada about seven months ago, and I'm so excited to find you guys. Um, thank you for um, welcoming me. So I'm excited to be at the next meeting in person, but I know that I'm finishing out someone else's term. So fingers crossed that continues on. But nice to meet everybody. <laughs> Welcome. We are so glad to have you. We're so glad Thanks. to have all of y'all. Um, yeah. And as Maddie mentioned, uh, her term is up at the end of next month. So she is reapplying and your term is up at the end of right. next month. Um, and Maddie, did you get an email from the city sort of instructing you to just reapply or was that just? Yes, I did I think... reapply. I didn't okay. add any extra fluff. So if you see something, okay. it, it is I, mine. Very yeah, similar I, th to this I think it's strictly a formality and that's probably the best way to just proceed is to just we are, we're just reinstituting all of the. We still go through the exact same process, but right now we have three applicants for three positions. Gotcha. So we would do the exact same. If we had five, we would do what we did before, which is talk about them. Um, but right now we have three for three positions because mine is also up at the end of March. And as a few of you know, I will not be reapplying. Um, and so at least not this year. Um, and so we do have a, an applicant and we have a third applicant, so. Uh, every time I see this, I think it's our thing. And I'm like, no, 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 it's not. <laughs> okay. All right. Do you want to talk about the community plan? Um, well, I can pull up the email about it. <laughs> and I right. can talk about it. <laughs> yeah, that's all I know. All right. Me. So the city has organized a committee summit on Saturday, February 11th. It'll be in the morning. Um, you would need to RSVP to Elena Turpin at the city if you'd like to attend, because I think they're doing some breakfast stuff. Um, Did you RSVP? I know I have not RSVP'd, so I hope that somebody can make it because I do not know if I will be able to. I have it in my calendar, but I just realized I don't know if I RSVP'd. Okay. Does anyone else want to come? 
I already have and something to come up. This isn't anything to do with city council. This is just the it's just answer. committees. Committees so and all commissions. Committees. Yep. Yep. It's all about cross com cross commission, cross committee um, I'll stuff. Be there. I don't remember if I RSVP. If I haven't, I will because I am also trying to do the uh, some things on behalf of the DFC also. Okay. So we'll awesome. Try all right. To make that whole. All right. Well, I will. I will make a note for me to definitely RSVP, and then uh, I'll see you there. And yeah, we can. Mike and I can be the reps for. Bring the donuts. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> they should already have. Uh, awesome. You're off the hook. Oh, good, good thing because I <laughs> might still be really drugged up. <laughs> Who knows? Right. right. <laughs> right. Uh, no, and I'm so, fine. not in a good way. No, I I'm, agree with. I have carpal tunnel surgery tomorrow morning. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow. yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so exciting. It is. It'll, it's a good thing. Just a little scary. I can say it's exciting in the rear view. Mm -hmm. Uh. Okay, and so we have a, the next thing on the list is the planning meeting. And um, this is something that hopefully all of our new commissioners can also make it to. Um, it'll be Saturday, March 4th. And this is where we are going to plan out the, all of the summer events in a bit more detail. So uh, we have traditionally had one planning meeting a year in September. And that's just really far from summer. So we are going to do one now in September and March. The one in March is going to really be about trying to get a handle on the, on the budget in addition to summer event details. And that way we can turn a budget uh, request in in a timely manner that's based on knowledgeable guesstimates as opposed to previously where they just... Estimates. Um, so, and I believe we did we not set a time? We have not set a time. Um, last time it was 10 30 to 2 30, is that right? Or 10 to 2? Something like that. Something like that. Um, Which sounds good to me. Yeah, that sounds good to me. 10 30 to 2 30 sounds especially good, um, but I'm open to 10 to 2. If folks want to send Deborah and I an email after the meeting, just letting us know um, that you can be there and whether you have any needs like time-wise. Um, we will bring some kind of pastries uh, for and coffee and then get lunch. So um, you will be fed March 4th. I'll be able to be there. March 4th. Um, yeah, I don't think I have because I've just been getting email. So I just email like the, the arts commission email. You can, that'll be Deborah and I will, um, I don't think I have your email either, but maybe I do in the, I, I must on the application from the first round. Um, only one of us now has access to the official email and that's Deborah. Um, I'll just email her. Yeah. For now, I will, I mean, make me a note action item for myself at some point this month to um, get new personal phone numbers and emails so that we can communicate to each other. And in that, I will put our guidelines for the types of communication that we can do yes. in email. There are, we can discuss events one-on-one -on -one and planning, but we cannot make like larger budgetary discussions over email. So there's some specific things that you'll need to read and we'll just all keep reminding each other of can you also include the email address we're supposed to cc in our emails because i don't know what it is so I yes doing it. <laughs> awesome awesome thank you yeah uh yay admin stuff <laughs> um, you're uh charging towards being nominated to be the chair by the way <laughs> I thought she was. She is the co-chair. Kind of I'm oh. very <laughs> soon on this. I'm going to be like, please help me. <laughs> right. Yeah, we're gonna get to that. Um, yeah, whatever the rules about texting Chelsea when she steps down about 
what do we do when this happens? <laughs> the, she she doesn't just make sure she's working on That's on not Robert's rules of order. That's like, I may or may not answer because I'm retired. Find <laughs> <laughs> so. to this event in April and this event in August. As a community partner. Uh, yes. Okay. You're still I'm doing it. Oh yeah, okay. I'm still doing it. Yes. Just making sure. Yes, I'm still, I'm going to be the community partner on those. I probably will need somebody on the commission to partner with, but uh, my intention is to do the planning um, and organizing. Because yeah, one of them, I'm actually, the one in May, I'm teaching. And then yeah, the uh, the literary, got to stop calling it one page, but yeah, the August reading and the April reading, I'm going to find the writers for um, one way or another. And then, yeah, I'll teach the collage class. I mean, you know, almost everybody knows where I live at this point. So you know where to find me. We can track you down. That's right. You got your phone number, you got your houses. Yeah. Um, uh, oh yeah, what's up Estacada? Did we ever answer them about a table? Yes, okay. we are confirmed for a table. Um, right, we need a camera. Yes, we, we should bring what's up, Estacada. If you don't know, is um, is it quarterly, every other month event that the city does, bringing together uh, community organizations, city commissions, city staff will be there. Sometimes the school district is. It can be a wide range, and there's like about thirteen different organizations that are attending this next one at the library. Um, I did sign us up for a table. So we are one of those organizations. So we will need a few people to be there um, and represent. Um, it might be a little tight on space. So maybe doing bringing the button machine out is not the best idea mm -hmm. for this event. Um, but if somebody's really set on it, I will <laughs> that if I'm cleared medically, that morning, I will come and I'll point to where it is in the cabinet so you can get it out. Um, but otherwise, we should have some nice, maybe just like a little mini calendar for events that we have confirmed for the spring, early spring here. Doesn't have to be anything. Stickers. And stickers. Oh, yeah. And okay. our bumper yeah. stickers. Yeah. Stickers in order. Is it the, is that, is that what the talking about? New York, Paris, New York, London, Paris, Estacada stickers. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Classic. <laughs> yeah, Classic. and there so, might be some people from the community that attend, but a, a, most of it's networking with other commissions and community organizations. Is that where I'm going to be there? <laughs> come and hang out yeah come and hang out and that way you can talk to whoever the organizer is to get in on the next one know about these more than two weeks ahead of time yes they well they ask us like three months in advance and then yeah. we forget oh we did talk about this uh, about it last month yeah meetings, because i, mean, I didn't the, know we needed the date the one before this one was the one that was like at 7 30 in the morning yeah why are they always doing work like this one's doing work too i mean I At got, least I, it's closer. It's closer, but this was at like five thirty or seven thirty. Yeah, but I don't get off for yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, not late, late, but later than that. And I, I'm just I work until five. Um, I work until five, and but I work from home, and I could walk to the library in fifteen minutes. So um, I'm, I'm there. I'll be there. Um, uh, yes, we can just do a better job of bringing it up earlier. But yeah, we knew about it. <laughs> like dates and times, like maybe put them on, I don't know, somewhere instead of just talking about it. I am one that does not like last minute things. I, I, I am your friend who <laughs> will not come if you invite me last minute. <laughs> if we need more people, I'm happy to be there too. I get off at like three o'clock since I work Ohio hours. <laughs> um, and you'll, so you'll be here physically then? Yes, I, I'm oh. actually coming back on Saturday, so I'll I'll be here for a good chunk of time. Okay, awesome. Well, that would be great, Maddie. I will be there, and if you can be there, that's two of us. Uh, Space, I said I'm happy to come too. And Jesse, great. That's three of us. Uh, Perfect. Uh, Elena Turpin at the city. Be in. <laughs> 
Uh, Ant Farm was at the one that I went to ages ago. Mm -hmm. um, I think Chris was there. And so, so that make sure that Ant Farm isn't already there. <laughs> <laughs> two tables, two Ant Farm, two Ant Farm tables. Um, totally, totally. Uh, my color printer is not working. And so I should have emailed this in advance, but I didn't get it until yesterday. So I'm going to be lame and just walk around the room. Hold on. Logo update? Yes, mm. this is for our logo This is logo the logo update. update. So uh, Marvin has sent us color logos. And Maddie, I'll send you an email with these. Um, Can you send the email out now? I'm very excited. I, uh, I don't know Maddie's email address. And uh, also, it's in, it's in not my Google Docs right now. So let me download it at home. And is this I'll for the general commission? This for is the, the creative creates. This current? is for the commission. <clears throat> um, and I thought I was just maybe walking around the room, but well, <laughs> no, because there's no. It's going to take forever to load. I and I won't. There, it will. There will be no emailing of anything while we're in this room. <laughs> all right, all of this cement. Got it. Um, so it'll take a second. Uh, <laughs> what he has done. So we already saw the black and white versions, um, and so he has added some beautiful rainbow colors. Um, and well, that'll just take a minute. Is what it's going to be. Oh, I've got some ideas. Oh no! Do you want to give one percent for art update while this thing loads? Um, the one percent for art update is at the same point it was before. We are going to start the committee sometime soon, and. Can you say more about what that is? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I, I don't know what that is. I, my, yeah. <laughs> okay. 1% for art is um, a program that the city has where any large um, city led projects uh, have 1% set aside for public art. Um, and the project that we're working on right now, we actually have two. One is Overlook Park, which is somewhere up there. <laughs> up on the hill. We're assuming it overlooks things. It overlooks <laughs> things. I have I have tried to, someday I will find it. Um but we um I think I feel like it's in the Reagan Hill maybe. Definitely yeah, not. It, yes, it is. Um so we have a potential to do an art project there. We have a, a set budget based on whatever the cost of that whole site was. Um the city's part of it. And the big one is Wade Creek phase three expansion. And that will include or can include the park itself and the new community building. That's very exciting. Yes. Uh, and so there's, I think, 35 thousand dollars maybe is what is in that account right now. Um, and that is not expected to cover the scope of what we decide to do. Um, there's lots of grant opportunities that are out there that will match your existing funds and all of that. So we'll be looking into one of those. Um, so we'll need like a certain mix of people to be on this committee, which is a selection committee. Um, commission members are able to be on it as well. Some city people, the library director, um, and then general community representatives. Um, and so what we'll be doing as a committee is either looking for art that we want to purchase and bring into the park or Wake Creek. Um, we can create a request for proposals and send that out and post it to artists so they can develop something and send it to us. And we can have it be like an open call or specifically ask for, you know, we want a mural for this space here, you know, so there's a lot that can go into it um, and lots of decisions that, that can be made and it should be a lot of fun. And 
it does not have a strict timeline. Um, I mean, Overlook has been completed for wow. a while. Um, so the money it's not going to go away. Yeah. So, but we do need to get on, on that process of developing the committee and kind of, kind of being ready to go with some plans once the uh, big grand opening is going because there's a lot of excitement about Wade Creek. And I think people are going to be very excited to see those finishing touches put on it. Um, one uh, item that we as a commission had agreed that we were going to purchase before we kind of had some of the details on how this worked was a very cool heron sculpture. Um, so we will kind of keep that in the pocket and present that. That'll probably be the first thing that the committee decides on is if we want to go ahead with that heron sculpture, which I think would be viewed. That's my personal opinion. It would be really cool there. It would be really cool. <laughs> yeah, there's I some really good opinion. good spots where this one could go. And that was an artist that came to us with, hey, do you want to buy this? So they still have it. Yes. Yeah. So we haven't completed that process. Yeah. Date or the opening date for Wake Creek? That's still completing from what you've heard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Last summer. <laughs> oh, I know. It's normal construction stuff, you know. Um, they're only they're only eight months behind right now. So, um, okay. city council city council asked for uh, uh, a little bit more of an explanation on on what has caused this delay and also um, a timeline for it to be finished. So we're pro we're probably going to get that um, at the next city council meeting. Excellent. Thank you, Jerry. Yeah. All right, I am now walking around the room showing people <laughs> the, um, so this Ooh. is the, these are the black and white versions and yeah. then these are the color options. And so Very cool. I think they're great. Those um, are great. And I think it'll be, I think it'll be delightful personally. Yeah, mm -hmm. beautiful. I love them. And like thank you for simple. making me clarify all that. Because I'm just curious. <laughs> I know that good, be curious. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Um, and I think that, you know, I mean, it's not like we, they're not like uh, cars. We can have them all, I believe. <laughs> yeah. It's all like different. We have all uh, yeah. paid there. And so, like, we've already been using the black and white, um, but now we have color. <laughs> Am I seeing allergies? No, it means a weird time of year for allergies to hit, though, too. And yeah, I know, too. Yeah. And I will send it. I will send this once I download it home. I'll send it to you, Maddie, so you can see it. Um. So yeah, I don't know if we should. I mean, not tonight, but if we should, um, like pick a couple of the color ones that we want to use or what. Um. But I I do think we can. I will propose uh, that we are good with these options. We don't need more options. Um, everyone agree? Maddie, yeah. you don't get to agree, but- They're um, beautiful. I agree. <laughs> um, I'm like, can I hold my phone up to you? Um, so good with these, and then I'll figure out if we need to, you and I can talk if we should pick like two that we're gonna stick with for color or if we, or what. Um, and then I'll wrap things up with Marvin. Did we have a set price with him for these? Uh, hopefully he remembers. It, we What we had originally was a set price for the logo plus a t-shirt design. Um, and so that was uh, between, it was under 250 okay. for the two. And so just the one should be less than that. Uh, I do have an email that says that. So. Uh, I can. Do you know anybody that does screen printing? Because I think that if we did like best cicada and then have the new watermark design or whatever, that would be like a great 
fundraising thing too, since we were talking about mm -hmm. fundraising. Mm -hmm. Carl yes. does. Carl has a contact. Has a yes, here in in town. Oh, Ooh. Really? Yes. Great. Oh, and there is Lake Printing. My neighbor just had his business hoodies and stuff that so I do and that they're out in my neighborhood so I can bring them out too. Um, I do I do like the idea of of a contest for the t-shirt for our summer fest art and music fest. Um, but I think that having t-shirts just like the bumper stickers that we you know maybe buy a small lot of to have would be cool. And I love the idea of Vesticata and I think that that a pretty logo um, with it would be great, personally. Did we set a day for the summer theme? A month? I believe that it is uh, in July. So That's all I got. Do a contest. How soon should we start that now? Yeah, because it's February, huh? Um, mm -hmm. and then, I mean, you'd have to give people time to. Mm -hmm. draw something or whatever mm -hmm. and submit it and then pick it and, and then, then get the shirts and made and... gosh tina we know i'm the sorry fourth of july <laughs> events are is timber festival happening is all of the normal summer things going down i don't know, I know strange, karen do you so. know is one of the arts festivals are going to be back to crawl like you guys did last year yes but it? bigger and less crawling and Maybe possibly at Wade Creek, mm -hmm. centralized. Maybe, area, but we'll we're... hopefully. Well, Jerry just said they're eight months behind. They're well, only eight months behind. Only eight months. But, but I mean, driving by, you can see they're not far. Right, off. Jerry. Do you know if uh, like Fourth of July is happening? Um, I I don't know. I know that. Uh, if we start our um, paving project, the parade will be either rerouted or canceled. Um, I'm not sure if Timberfest is actually going on. Um, it's typically a private, um, privately funded and budgeted. And oh, really? Mm. Yeah. Like summer celebration. Do we know who hosts it usually? I don't know. It's Escada Area Community Events. Was people that did it before. Investigate it area community. And events. is that a non yes. not for profit or is that? I don't know actually. I don't know who runs it. Jordan Winthrop used to be a part of it, so sure. he might be someone to reach out to. Just ask on Facebook. Somebody will know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure, Terrell Hoffman appeared on Um. Okay. Not going to respond to that. Um, <laughs> so uh, we're at that point in the meeting. Uh, fundraising ideas. Do we have any more? Were we supposed to come up with more? I came up with a cool one last time on the You fly sure did. You totally did. did. You Maybe sure did. It was mine. And I'm like, thanks, Chelsea. <laughs> We're, we're gonna have a battle of the bands as soon as I figure out <laughs> what that. Um, I brought up before just the vague idea of doing like a five dollar art show. Um, you could use that as a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. You know, the Hat Desert Museum did one last fall, and it was really beautiful. Simple, easy. Could involve Where do you kids source and the, high schools? So, the, do the kids make the art? If this theirs was not necessarily kid made art. Um, but it can get a lot of people that don't have a booth of art, but maybe have created one thing that they'd love mm -hmm. to have displayed. And then you do it like a gallery and um, you leave the art up for a time so that, you know, it can be sold, but it remains on the wall for a time while it's showing and then sold after. I can find out um, intimately involved with the museum. So I can find out more about how they ran it, but that could be a cool, fun, it'd be really easy to, talk to the schools and get um, get like just kids. And a lot of people like to do art that don't have a body of work. So it could be kind of a fun way to do a community art display. Can you come on what this book you teach in? Um, I teach in the North Hockney School District. I grew up in Mike Bend. 
Mm-hmm. Like that's the one that started the movie. Yeah. 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 So Ray, do you have any connection to share? Because they don't always, they don't always. <laughs> yeah, one of my, I do. I can get in. One of my colleagues at the school I work with now worked in that theater for like eight years at one of the schools, so I'll, I'll knows my way in. <laughs> awesome, yeah, yeah. awesome, very cool. Yeah. Stuff on your retiring, going away, but seem to be there. Oh. Yeah, sometimes it's better if you get to the teachers and then have them ask. From the ground yeah. up. I sick my kids on the teachers. How are numbers? Yeah, get all the kids on. Yeah, a lot of numbers. I mean, it just it should be a fun idea. It doesn't necessarily have to go through the schools, but if they're, you know, have somebody that's doing cool art, then do something um, Did anybody go see the play? No, but it looks good. It looks fantastic. That's what, what I heard. Like, we are enrolling our kids in SVP next year. They've been going to the Montessori school, which is relocating. And we took them down there as a ploy to be like, see how awesome this And it was, I didn't have any expectations walking in and the music and it was, I, I mean, was well, it was amazing. I was really happy I didn't really, have really to well. go this year. Right. <laughs> I was also really happy I didn't have to do Girl Scout cookies this year. So <laughs> I, I was just like being in this, yay. I think we're in the community updates portion of our meeting. Is that correct? Um, just, um, just a real quick question. Yourself. If we did do the five dollar art show, could we do that at the ant farm space? Would there be enough wall space that we could put up dividers or something? Okay, it'd have to be on like something. Cool. We'll get creative. We, we also do have a hanging system at the library that could be uh, utilized for such a thing, right? It's, um, yeah, it's smaller, but it could, it could work. Between now and our next meeting, I can just sort of float some ideas out to people and see if there's any. Awesome. And uh, I did commit to uh, writing a RAC grant and they are due March 22nd. Um, so I can do it as a commissioner uh, and submit it. And I'm going to just modify the one that we submitted last year that did very well, just not quite all the way well. And so fingers will be crossed. Um, so that is uh, one, two, three, four, or five thousand um, dollars. And the what we had talked about is I think two thousand dollars specifically for SDK to creates that this would be project specific, um, and I think that having Ant Farm as a partner is going to help too. Um, and you know, I will, I will be, I will be suggesting that that money be earmarked for supplies so that we can provide more supplies to participants, like at the art. Um, events and things like that, as well as um, compensating the artists who come out, writers or musicians or artists. So that's um, that's my fundraising update. Any other any other community updates? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> uh, there is a new. Well, this is kind of our Arts Commission update. Um, Carl just hung a new show at the library. It's Sue, should have brought a flyer with me, sorry. Uh, DeMalt, DeWalt. I will check that name for you, Mike, so you can get it in there properly. <laughs> um, yeah, and it was it's a really cool uh, community-based project. She had lots of different people working on these pieces with her. Um, yeah, you'll have to check it out and her description of it, but it's really cool. And it's just on the one side wall. Our hanging system in the library is pretty small. It just kind of goes around our small conference room and she's just got stuff on one side, but it's it's nice. It's a nice grouping and I really like it. Um, and Friday night, please go to Spiral Gallery and support Reva Wartell. She's opening her show the Brave Dreams project that she's been working on for like half a year with the community. Um, 
it's it's a super cool project and that um she was asking questions like what's your vision for Estacada? what does Estacada need um she's got lots of input from the school and from high school students that she's worked with um and has compiled that in, into an art show who's the artist reva wartel r-e-e-v-a w-o-r-t-e-l and she's uh has worked with art back on murals she designed the new mural that's on the side of dollar general um, yeah. and what's the show called brave dreams project she designed the mural that became the district center mm -hmm. cool yep uh, and my update is only tangentially a community update in that it involves me and I am in the community. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> there's a show opening at, um, I'll think of it in just a second, uh, Plural Collective, Plural Collective Gallery in Selwood. And I have a collage there for sale. And the part of the proceeds are going to SMYRC, which is, I just had to look that up. Sexual Gender Minority Youth Resource Center. So it's an, it's an LGBTQ uh, youth organization. And yeah, 10% of all the sales are going to that. And the theme for the show was Love is Love. And they have timed it very well for February. Uh, but all of the work there is 150 books or less. Um, so, and I don't know how many artists they have, but uh, the list of names was long, so. Anyway, it's opening on Saturday, uh, but it'll be at Plural Collective until the end of the month. So that's exciting for me. It is, yes. And I think it'll be cool. I have one more community update that I think we will be very happy about. Let me open up my email so I get the name right. Um, oh, yeah. At the early childhood committee meeting that I attend, we had someone new attend. Her name is Danny Randall, and she is the new community liaison for the Estacada School District. So kind yes. of splitting Maggie Kelly's job in two. So Danny will be our new point of contact, Randall. And I did not have a chance to reach out to her yet as in my library position, but we definitely would want to be in contact her, with her for the stuff that we're doing here. Um, so that's, that's just really exciting on multiple levels because yeah. that's one of the things that the school is kind of promoted that they're working on community engagement. So this is a great step. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. Did, and did you give these to everyone? Or just, you? Oh, just to you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank we'll, you. We would yeah. do that. Yeah. We'll do, we'll, we'll, uh, we can do that next month. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. All right, anything else? Manny, can you go to the microphone? Yes. Although next time you have to do that at the beginning during the guests period. It's all right. That's right, we didn't tell you. Sorry. And Manny. It's yeah. <laughs> That's yes. right, it's a community update. Great. That's, yeah, sorry if I'm out of order, uh, but. So, and you have, you have three minutes. We can only give you, we can only give I'll you. Use them all. No, yeah, go for it. Uh, so, uh, and farm uh, wise, there is an ongoing event right now um, that is arts related um, every Thursday. So uh, including uh, tomorrow and then next Thursday, right before uh, Estacada Creates Literature, um, there is a guitar class that is free. Um, it is from six, uh, starts at six and it ends right at, uh, right when the, right, right at seven, it ends right at seven. Um, and it's free. And what's really cool about this is that uh, there are two instructors. One of them will be me, so I'll be personally instructing. And then the other one uh, is uh, a Spanish-speaking uh, guitar teacher. So it is uh, very much open to all ages, all skill levels, um, and uh, both taught in English and in Spanish. Um, That's so cool. So uh, doing that, uh, if you have anyone that would like to go, uh, connect them to us uh, or send them over to our building 6 p.m. Uh, every Thursday until the 23rd of February. Um, 
So there's that. And then this isn't as Stakeda, but uh, in Sandy, this is Ant Farm. Uh, in Sandy, you reminded me when you were talking about uh, the LGBT uh, event that you were talking about. Um, there is a uh, screening of We're Here uh, happening in Sandy at the Ant Farm Cafe. So uh, if you have, if you guys know any uh, families uh, that would like to uh, attend, it's a very powerful uh, TV show about uh, drag artists and mostly about small rural towns and uh, how they're changing uh, to be more accepting and what the challenges of that are. When, when does that mean? Uh, so the We're Here screening uh, is going to be tomorrow from, I think, tomorrow from 5 <laughs> to 6.30. So it's an ongoing TV show, is that what you said? It's a TV show. Oh, that cool. They're going to screen the success of the activity. So, yeah. Awesome. Thank That's you. Um. I have a question. The guitar lessons, is it, uh, it, are there loner guitars there or do you have to bring your own guitar? <laughs> Bringing your guitar is uh, helpful, definitely. Um, I personally bring three guitars. I like, uh, I brought, I bring one for myself to instruct and then two of my other guitars. Uh, and so there's two extra guitars, whoever gets them first. first and then if, first but like, I will say that like, we will get creative and we will make sure that uh, you. Do you need more guitars? Uh, do we need more guitars? Yes, 100%. Uh, we want to maybe facilitate some sort of instrument drive to. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have, Sorry, Jerry. The mic is the mic is not pictures. living. Um, one that I would probably take home with me is the Martin, the one you play. Okay, I was like, is the Martin just there for everybody to play? <laughs> Are you gonna steal his guitar? No, no. I got it. <laughs> just there. And when is the place stop? Are you coming when tomorrow, Mike? Um, thank you. Thank Mary. you. Um, Anything else? I have nothing to add. I um I uh would like to adjourn the meeting then if we, there's nothing else at uh, seven forty three. Thanks, Maddie. Thanks, Jerry.